Hey, it's Lowell Wild Jr. of the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute. Uh, today I want to talk about EPAT or ESWT. It's a treatment that I have been providing to my patients since the year 2000 in one shape or another. And it's been become an amazingly valuable way to non-invasively take care of patients' problems, whether it be plantar fasciitis, in this case it's an Achilles tendon problem, or other problems of the foot or ankle. Um, being that it's non-invasive, it's easy for patients to have done, and it doesn't interfere with their daily lifestyle. Uh, and so today I'm gonna to be treating an Achilles tendon problem, and I'm gonna go through some of the things that I do. So today our patient's pain is in the Achilles tendon, at the attachment of the heel bone. And she has gone through a number of things that were not effective for her, and she's had pain for quite some time. And this is now her third treatment uh, for this, and we do a series of five treatments. We start with uh, getting this device and ultrasound gel, and we're gonna be applying the ultrasound gel right at the maximum area of pain, which is for her where the Achilles tendon attaches uh, to the heel bone. And then I'm gonna set my settings on my device um, that we see here. And I start out at a low uh, uh, energy level, and then I get started. And I'm gonna start, and we're going to be treating her area. She and I have already talked about but during the treatment, she can give me feedback on where it hurts more and where it hurts less. And we're gonna to wanna to provide the treatment in the area that hurts more. And we continue to move the device uh, as we go to maximize the effectiveness of the treatment. As we go, we turn up the intensity level a little at a time uh, to her tolerance and each time she comes in, we're able to increase the energy level um, because she's starting to heal. And what this treatment is doing is breaking up scar tissue. It's simulating healing uh, to the tissue, the tendon and the bone. It's causing a release of growth factors to the area which have been scientifically proven uh, in animal studies to help heal the tissue that we're treating. All in all, it's a very effective way uh, for us to get healing in an area that has been ineffectively treated. So we do this treatment weekly over five weeks. And while in between, she's still wearing proper shoes, arch supports, going through stretching and physical therapy, um, because all of these parts are important to the solution of healing uh, the Achilles tendon problem. And as you can see, I'm continuing to increase the intensity level uh, as I go. And I'm gonna perform this 3,000 pulses. You can hear the repetitiveness of the pulses. It's 3,000 pulses. And while she's having some discomfort during this, uh, it's relatively tolerable. And infrequently, the patients really say, it's too intense, can you back down? But we can always back down the level of intensity uh, to make sure it's comfortable for the patient and what they can tolerate. Okay, so I've finished this. We're using the, the probe. I meant to say that I'm using the probe that is more focused in the area of maximum pain. Now I'm going to switch to the probe that isn't as focused. It's more superficial and more broad. And I'm gonna switch that probe. And I'm now gonna change it to the uh, one that is more superficial and broad. And now we're gonna treat up into the calf and the aponeurosis. And so I I'll do that. I lower my intensity level. And then I start. And what I'm doing here is I'm in the aponeurosis and the calf area, and if there's any pain, and for her, her pain sometimes is over here, but it's really not too much. But what this does, it actually loosens up the connective tissue that will allow her to stretch more deeply, which will in turn help alleviate the pull and the tension on the more distal Achilles tendon, allowing it to heal more effectively. And we spend a few minutes doing 3,000 pulses in the manner 
that you see here. All in all, when we do this combined treatment for an Achilles tendon problem, we get over 80% success. When it comes to plantar fascia problems, we are exceeding 90% success rate with this combined treatment. So it's something that I would encourage you to consider uh, for your patients or if you're a patient yourself doing this, it's a great treatment for these problems to avoid surgery, to avoid recovery, and get back to an active lifestyle as quickly as possible.